Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're talking about the Amazon Fire Stick updates and what they have been breaking on the Amazon Fire Stick. Fire Stick is banning a lot of different apps. So we're going to talk a lot about that today and specifically about launchers and how you can add your launcher back even with these updates coming out and potentially blocking things. There is actually a way to add the launcher back and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that process today and show you how you can get that launcher back on your Amazon Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and start with the settings. So if we head over to the settings and then go down to My Fire TV, if we come in here to My Fire TV and click on the About section, you'll see where it says your software version. And depending on your Fire Stick, you'll see a different software version. Mine's is 8.1.03 and I'm on the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. And no matter which device you're on, whether you're using a TV which has Fire TV built into it or a Fire Stick or a Fire TV Cube, it should all work. And even if you have a different version, it should work because multiple different Fire Sticks, depending on what type of Fire Stick you have, will display a different version. So just keep that in mind. If I go to the home screen on the Fire Stick, I'm just going to show you this really quick here. If I go down here, this is a different launcher. This is one of the launchers that was basically disabled due to an update on the Amazon Fire Stick. But once again, if you're a little tech savvy, you can get around just about anything. So this is the Wolf launcher. As you can see, it runs smoothly. It comes with multiple different settings, launcher settings, other settings. You can add different widgets to your launcher if you wanted to, Silk Browser widgets. If I was to scroll down here, one thing you will notice right away is that you only see a list of the apps that you have installed on the Amazon Fire Stick. And what else do you notice? You notice that there are no ads and mainly I spoke about this in this video that I posted the other day that they are blocking these launchers mainly because you're not able to get to the ads and a lot of the time Amazon makes the bulk of their money based on those ads that you click on. You may not click on it but about 80% of the Fire TV users all click on those advertisements or watch any type of free ad supported streaming TV that's promoted by Amazon, whether that be Freevee or Prime Video or any service that they provide that provides ads. So in here you will see all your apps in here, very straightforward, very clean, no advertisements at all. Everything is very smooth. Let's say if I opened up Tubi straight from this launcher, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm opening up Tubi. All right, so Tubi opened up just fine. I'm gonna go over and click on the exit button. And once I click on the exit button, it closes Tubi out. It brings me back to the Wolf launcher. There's also a way to where if you restart your Amazon Fire Stick, you can have this load on the main screen right away. And that's basically done. If I click on the home screen on the Fire Stick remote, that takes me back to the Amazon Fire Stick home screen. Um, but if I wanted to basically just continuously keep that Wolf launcher as my main launcher, you want to use this particular app, Launcher Manager. And you would come in here and you would basically cycle this to set your home screen to the Wolf launcher. All right, and you would set that as your Wolf Launcher. And then it says Wolf Launcher is now your custom launcher. And I don't really wanna restart my Amazon Fire Stick, so we have that setting set. And I'll just go and go back to the app, which is Wolf Launcher. It is an app itself on the Amazon Fire Stick. Even if you didn't want to have the Wolf Launcher automatically load up every time you turn on your Fire TV, you can always go to that particular app on the home screen on the Fire Stick. Or if I click my home button once again and go back to the app section, which is just the three squares with the plus sign. If I click on that and then come in here, it will be the last app that you most likely installed, which is this app right here. I can move it to the front. If I click the three lines on, on my remote and come down here and click on move to front, it'll add that to the home screen. And if I wanted to, I can just click on that particular app and it'll load my wolf launcher right there. And once again, all you see is apps. You don't see any ads and it's very clean. It's very fast and it's straightforward. 
um, as far as setting this up and installing it on the Amazon Fire Stick, I can go ahead and show you that, but I won't be able to fully go into detail on the process on the Amazon Fire Stick over here on YouTube. What I can do is tell you how to get it based on how I got it. So if you go to the magnifying glass and go to search, you want to type this in downloader. And once you type in downloader, you just pull this app up. A lot of you already have downloader installed. If you don't, if you don't have downloader installed, go ahead and click on it, install it and get this installed. Once you have that installed, all right, so once you load downloader up for the first time, you're automatically on the home screen, but if you hover over on the left hand side where it says browser, you'll get to this web page here, which is the AFTV news web page, and you'll find a lot of different news articles about your Amazon Fire TV. And this is where you want to just keep up to date on any type of news. So this is where I got this particular launcher from, from this article. And if you read it, if you click on it and open it up, it tells you step by step on how to get this launcher on your Amazon Fire Stick. So for those of you who don't want to read this article and you just want a video, a step by step video on how to add this launcher on your Amazon Fire Stick, I'm going to go ahead and post this on my Patreon since I can post just about whatever I want on Patreon. So you want to follow me over there too. If you're not already follow me over there, click on the first link in the description. That'll take you to the Patreon page. I'll get together a video that way you can watch step by step on what to do and how to add this on your Amazon Fire Stick, even with the latest update. So keep that in mind. It's very straightforward. You can read this article and then jump over to the Patreon to get a step by step video. So I did want to bring this good news to you about the Amazon Fire Stick. There is hope for the Amazon Fire Stick. If you're a little tech savvy, you can get around a few things with these launchers and you can still get your launcher to work even on the latest updates. So I definitely wanted to let you know that you can still get that running and it does still work. You just have to tweak a few settings. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. So let me know if you're able to still use your launchers on the Amazon Fire Stick using the latest update. Let me know if this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.